Let's take a look at how you can book a meeting room by adding it to a calendar appointment in Outlook. The first thing to do is check the availability of the room you want to book. Click on the calendar icon in the bottom left of the screen. In the top menu bar, click on Open Calendar and choose From Room List. Choose the conference room you want to check the availability for. If you want to choose more than one room, hold down the control button as you make your selection. Next, click the Rooms button and then click OK. The meeting rooms will now be added to a subfolder called Rooms to the left of your calendar. From here, you can view the availability of each room by looking at its calendar. So let's schedule a meeting in one of the rooms. The easiest way to do this is to double click on the time you want to arrange a meeting for in your own diary. This will bring up a new appointment box. To add the name of the meeting room, you need to invite the meeting room as you would any normal attendees. Simply click Invite Attendees from the menu at the top. Click on the Rooms button next to the Location field and choose which room you want to invite. Then click Rooms and OK. This has now added the meeting room to the appointment as an attendee and as the location. You can now invite the rest of the attendees as normal. When you have finished adding in all the details, press Send. You will then receive an email from the meeting room to say your meeting request has been accepted and you can see that your appointment has now been added to the meeting room's calendar. So let's see what happens when you try and book a meeting room that is already in use. Set up the meeting as normal by double clicking on the time you want to book it for and filling in the details. Choose the meeting room you want to invite by clicking invite attendees. Click rooms, select the room and then OK. Invite any other attendees and click Send. In this example, we'll assume you didn't check the room's availability beforehand and therefore your meeting request clashes with another meeting in that room. You will receive a decline email from the meeting room, giving you details of the organiser and time of the conflicting meeting. You can then go back and check the room's availability before sending an update meeting request. It's as simple as that. We hope you found this useful. For more videos, check out our YouTube channel.